Ralph Bagnall here for Wood Academy with a first look at Microjig's new Blade Match Arbor Shims. Every table saw rip fence comes with a scale to allow you to set the distance from the blade, but nobody uses them. For almost 30 years as a professional woodworker, every time I wanted to set a rip fence, out came the tape measure or a steel rule or some measuring device to figure out the distance. And that's because when you change blades, you can't rely on the fact that the right side of your blade is always going to be in the exact same position relative to the fence as the previous blade that you had on. Now, if you use a combo blade on your saw and never change, then you can calibrate your rip fence and all of your cuts will be accurate. But if you change from one type of blade to another, you have to recalibrate the rip fence every time you want to use it. Nobody bothers to do this. We all just drag out our tapes and measure it that way. And I don't know about you, but number one, I'm always searching for my tape when I go to set up my saw. And number two, once you start a project with a particular measuring device, whether it be a tape or a steel rule or what have you, you've got to stick with the same measuring device or your results are going to be slightly different. The blade match arbor shims are designed to solve this problem. They allow me to set up my saw so that no matter what blade I put in, the right side of the blade, the fence side, is always in the same plane. It's always going to be a known distance away from blade to blade to blade. You can see what I mean here. I cut apart using a full curve blade and it fits snugly but swap to a thin curve blade without moving the fence and it becomes obvious that the right side of the blade is further from the fence. The arbor shims allow me to figure out the exact gap. I put the test piece back in place and use the arbor shims like you would a set of feeler gauges, stacking them in different combinations until you get the exact fit you want. You want to find a combination of shims that just barely drags between the board and the blade. They should slip between the two easily, but be dragging just enough to hold themselves in position. In this particular case, 18 thousandths was the right setup. In the package, you'll find a set of six shims. Three thousandths, four thousandths, five thousandths, six thousandths, ten thousandths, and twenty thousandths. And this combination will allow you to go from three thousandths of an inch adjustment all the way up to forty-five thousandths by increments of one thousandth of an inch. Some combination of these will give you that entire range. Now once I've figured out that this blade is eighteen thousandths of an inch different than my widest blade, I'm going to choose the 10, the 5, and the 3. Now one thing I have figured out is put your thicker two shims on the outside and any thinner shims on the inside, it makes the whole process of sliding them onto the arbor a little bit easier. They're less likely to get caught up in the threads. But then I can just lay my blade in place behind the arbor shims and secure it normally. And this guarantees that the right side of my blade is always the same distance away from the fence, no matter which blade I have. And if you only use a couple of different blades, or if you buy more than one set of the arbor shims, I actually take the shims themselves, the stack that goes with this blade, and I store them with the blade. So that the next time I want to use it, all I have to do is take the appropriate shims, put them on the arbor, install the blade, and I'm ready to go. It really adds no extra time to my blade changes. But the arbor shims aren't just about the rip fence scale. If you have a riving knife on your saw, or like me, you use a set of splitters, those typically should be adjusted with every blade change. But with the arbor shim system, my blade is always going to be located on the right hand side in the same plane. So once I know the proper setup for my splitters or my riving knife, 
I never have to change it again. And I always get exactly the fit I need. 